Spring had come to Moomin Valley. Every day brought more sunshine, but Moomin Troll wanted to hear more of Mama's dreams about the rocky island. Tell me what happened after the storm, Mama, he begged. Well, next morning, little Mai was the first to look out. The storm had died away, and the sea had thrown up lots of driftwood high up onto the beach. Come on, all you lazy bones, little Mai shouted. Time to go beach coming. Quickly, they sped down to the beach before the sea could take back its gifts. Hurrah! There's enough wood to make Mama some new furniture. They worked quickly, but they were not quick enough. The island seemed to be engaged in a continuing fight with the elements. Yet another storm was brewing. And then, little Mai saw that their precious boat was in danger. Come on, Moomin Troll, shouted Moomin Papa. To battle with the ocean is a real life challenge, my son. Now, let's get back to the lighthouse. But it wasn't so easy. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I warn you? Yelled little Mai. The whole island was fighting the storm. Even the trees were on the move. The earth was shaking with fear. Run, run, shouted Moomin Papa. It's dangerous here. Safe once more in the lighthouse, Mama tried to make them forget about the bad storm by wrapping them in rugs. Don't think about the trees, my dear, she said. Maybe everything will be back to normal in the morning. But little Mai couldn't hide under the blanket this time. She was too worried. How could the trees move, she said. The island must be alive, just as much as the sea and the trees. I'm going to take one last look outside, decided Moomin Troll. Oh! Outside it was fearful. Leaves flew past as the trees closed in. And there was the Grook, dread spirit of winter, sitting in front of him. Quickly, Moomin Troll closed the door. And then, fortunately, Moomin Mama interrupted the story of her winter dreams until another day. That story's too frightening, Mama, said Moomin Troll. I don't think I want to know any more of your dream. 